A twin flame is the other side of your being. The allegory in Genesis says that Eve was taken from the rib of Adam. That is a description of this spiritual process in the heart of God. What this means is that uniquely there is an electronic blueprint and a white fire core and out of that blueprint there are two beings, one carrying the minus charge of it, one carrying the plus. No two beings have ever been created aside from these two having that identical electronic blueprint. This is why the beloved is absolutely unique. When we descended through the great spheres of the causal body, these twin causal bodies, we journeyed through them and we went through the concentric spheres of light and each of these color bands represents another vibration and another plane of heaven which corresponds to the seven chakras in your temple. As we develop the chakras, we draw forth the light of that sphere. As we give energy to that sphere in good words and good works, we have treasure built in heaven and we draw upon it and we can develop a, a momentum of light and power and creative action in that particular corresponding chakra. You and your twin flame journeying through those spheres in the beginning actually made a free will decision as to which one of those seven spheres you would amplify, serve upon, accelerate in, and therefore when you went out into the matter universe, give that as a gift on the altar of the evolutions that you would be serving. If we had never left the planes of perfection, we should have embodied for 14,000 years, seven times, one body for each 2,000 year cycle. We should have fulfilled the manifestation of our great causal body in the matter universe, endowed the matter cosmos with our spirit consciousness and ascended back to the plane of spirit, individually in God. This world of spirit is teeming with life and activity. It is not some kind of a misty nirvana. It is a plane of cosmic being and consciousness. Twin flames are destined, once they complete their evolution, to hold the flame of the Father, Mother, God for systems of worlds, for planetary homes, for stars and cycles. In fact, all that we see of the matter cosmos that is in manifestation is endowed and sponsored by twin flames who have gone before us, who long ago reached the attainment of full God realization, have built upon it, some who never went out and descended into the knowledge of good and evil in a relative sense. So those of you who are here are seekers, and many of you have found a great deal. I think there's one thing we share in common. We are awake, as Gautama Buddha answered when someone said to him, who are you? He said, I am awake. You are awake to the fact that you don't necessarily want to spend eternity on this physical earth, that you are not exactly totally comfortable on this physical earth and the conditions that prevail upon it, that you believe that within your being is the power of God to work change on this planet, and that you are determined to unlock the fire as Prometheus unbound that sacred fire and to direct it into personal and planetary conditions to leave your mark of service to the world evolution because you know you have a date with destiny and with your twin flame and with God that transcends this plane. So far, nobody gets off of this planet alive. But there is a path of the ascension whereby when we do lay down our physical bodies, we reunite with that white fire core of being. And there is an acceleration of the light because we have called it forth and because we have served and balanced our karma. The end of Pisces and the beginning of Aquarius is a time of ultimate spiritual freedom. When the octaves of light are opened, the retreats of the Great White Brotherhood are opened of the Lords of the Seven Rays. This is a time when we can fulfill our reason for being on the path of the Ascension. These are the teachings that the Ascended Masters bring, which I have written down. They are the lost teachings of Jesus and the prophecy of Saint Germain.
The sense of incompleteness in this octave makes many people extremely miserable and alone. It is not only because of separation from the twin flame, but because we have to know ourselves as only a part of the whole to retain that humility to realize that we have a profound need for God to come into our temple, call him what you will, the deity, the light, the universal presence.